Sometimes I just go sit up on the roof. <laughs> I'll literally just go sit up on the roof when the guys are working. I'll just sit there, you know, not even say anything. People probably think that's crazy, but I like the hustle and bustle and just seeing stuff getting done. And I don't know, it's kind of therapy for me. Everybody who walks into our office has the same reaction. They say this doesn't look like a roofing business. When I first started in roofing, it had a negative connotation, sort of. And for me, it was like, all right, well, it doesn't have to have this negative connotation, right? You don't have to look like the roofer from 30, 40 years ago. I run the business with my wife, who's my partner. I think it's a pretty unique dynamic. She's really the driving force behind our growth and, and where we're headed. She's proud of the work we do, and she's really guiding the ship of what a roofing company can look like today. So I think we're changing the whole image of, of, of roofing and what it should be. My role is I'm the director of operations. I go out and meet adjusters for hail claims or wind claims. I meet architects or general contractors when we're scoping jobs, directing project coordinators to make sure that we have everything on schedule, making sure the jobs are getting done on time and to budget. My early memories of construction, my dad was a contractor, so I grew up on job sites. Uh, I grew up uh, basically doing all of the physical manual labor, and quite frankly, I hated it because I worked for my dad. He expected more out of my brother and I than he did out of anybody else on the crew. But the thing that I took from it was, if you didn't do the job right, he made you do it over. I remember doing a job over three times until it was right when I was a kid. And uh, you know, that just instilled in me to take pride in what you do. Just like any other trade, take pride in your work because if that roof is not installed correctly, you're not protecting everything that's inside of the house. Our foreman will not stand for work that's less than our quality. Sometimes the guys on the crew get mad at them because we're not gonna waver on it. It's really about building a culture of, this is our product and we're not gonna settle for less. We should expect that people take pride in their work. It's not something that we should have to be rewarded for. It's, to me, it's something I expect of my people. And uh, just because we're doing a job, we should take pride in everything that we do, period. I build because it's in my blood. I mean, simple as that. I grew up doing it and I just enjoy it. I enjoy building. I enjoy building stuff or rebuilding stuff better than it was before.